friends. Thanks for joining me today. I thought we could start with our planet song. Do you guys remember all the planet names? If you do, sing along with me, okay? Here we go. I know the planets, how about you? I know the planets, how about you? I know the planets, how about you? Let's sing their names together. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, among the stars. Uranus and Neptune, but not Pluto. Those are the planets. Everything spins around the sun. Spinning, spinning, everyone. The Earth is ours, it's number three. The atmosphere is right for me. Thanks for singing with me, guys. Now, I want you to get your little Ziploc bag we gave you. Open it up, and you're going to get out one piece of paper today. It is the piece of paper that looks like this. This is our storytelling template. So, grab this piece of paper and settle in for a story. I'm going to tell you a story and then I'm going to show you how to fill this out, okay? You're going to work with your families to come up with a story. And when we come back to school, we have real books with hard covers that you guys are going to put your story in. And you'll do the illustrations and we'll help you write the words and you'll make the cover and you'll have your very own book to take home. So this week you're going to be thinking of the story you want to go in your book and your family can help you with that, okay? So here's my story. Once upon a time, there was a cat and there was a dog. The cat was orange and the dog was brown. And one day they were playing in the park. And the cat loved best of all to swing on the swings. And the dog loved best of all to climb up to the very top and slide down the slide, wagging his little tail all the way down. Well, one day, they decided to go to the park without their owner. You'll be fine, they told each other, and so off they went to the park. Well, the cat was swinging on the swing, and the dog was going down the slide, and they were having just a great time until they noticed up in the sky. And Cat said, oh dog, I see some gray clouds starting to form in the sky. Do you think it might be a storm? And Dog said, oh, Cat, don't worry about that. We're fine. Let's keep playing. And he went down the slide again. <laughs> so Cat kept swinging on the swing until all of a sudden she heard something. And she said, oh, Dog, I think I just heard a rumble of thunder. And Dog said, Oh, cat, don't worry. We can get home in time. Let's just stay a few more minutes. So cat kept swinging on the swing, but she was kind of nervously looking at the sky when all of a sudden there was a huge clap of thunder, a big lightning bolt, and it started pouring down rain. Well, dog and cat were starting to feel a little scared because they were out in the park. They didn't know if they could make it home in this big rainstorm, and they huddled together underneath the playground. When all of a sudden they heard a noise that sounded like this. Beep, 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 beep. And they heard a voice saying, Dog, cat, hurry, I've come to rescue you. It was their little girl owner. She had come in her family car to rescue them. And they took off running, splashing through the puddles until they got to the car. The little girl opened the door and said, hop in. And the dog and the cat hopped in. She had towels to dry them off in the car. And she, her mom drove them safely home. When they got home, the little girl dried them all the way off. She gave them some warm milk and some water and some treats to eat. And she said, now you silly pets, don't you go to the park without me anymore. And 
So dog and cat decided they would wait for their owner to go to the park. And they never went alone again. But they, every time the little girl took them, the cat would swing on the swing and the dog would go down the slide. And they had a great time together. The end. So that's my story I made up today. I'm going to go ahead and use this storytelling template to help me put all the different parts of my story down. So the first area says characters. Who are the characters in my story? Well, that would be Cat. That would be Dog. Little brown puppy ears. And that would be their owner, the little girl. So I can draw pictures of my characters and I can also write the words. Let's see. K at. K at. K at. I can write dog. D. Og. D. Og. Dog. And I can write girl. G. Earl. G. Earl. Cat, dog, and girl. Those are my characters. What is the setting of my story? Well, that would be the park. Let's see. I'm going to draw the swings in my park that the cat left to go on. And I'm going to draw the playground structure with the slide that the dog left to go on. This is the setting of my story. Maybe I'll even add some grass so later when I go to do my illustrations, I'll have some good ideas of what I want to add in my book. The setting, the park. Let me write that. P -ark. Park. Now, we've done that before in class. Here we have something a little different down here. Do you see the triangle shape? Well, this is telling about the conflict, but there's some rising action. Things that lead up to the conflict. The big conflict will be at the top and then falling action will lead down to our conclusion. So, in my rising action, I might write words like gray clouds. That started to get the cat worried. I might write words like thunder. That started to make the cat feel even more nervous, right? Some gray clouds, some thunder coming from the clouds. Maybe I'll even draw a cat looking a little nervous because cat was a little nervous about the storm that was coming, right? In my rising action, I have the great clouds and the thunder and the nervous cat. Now at the very top is the biggest point of conflict in my story. That is the big, huge storm that came down. So I might make a big rain cloud and I'm going to draw rain coming down. There was even lightning in my story. Maybe I'll draw some lightning coming from the cloud. The conflict. And remember in my story, cat and dog were hiding under the playground. They were so scared. Maybe I'll draw a cat under here. And I'll draw a dog under here hiding. And I might write the word storm. And I might write the word scared and hiding. That is the conflict of my story. The big storm and dog and cat hiding under the playground. And then I have my falling action. Things are starting to get better. Things are going to resolve. Remember they heard a sound. They heard a honk, honk, 
I'm going to write honk. And they saw a car, the car of their owner. Whoa, my car kind of looks a little bit like a spaceship here, but there we go. They heard honk honk and they saw a car and the little girl was standing there. She had come to rescue them. Now in this big open triangle down here, I'm going to write my resolution. What happens to solve the problem? How does the story end? Well, in my story, they went back to their house and the little girl gave the, dried them off and gave them food and gave them water and milk and they were happy at the end of my story. There's my little dog at the house who's happy. Here's my cat who's happy. So I might write a word, safe, home, dry, food, happy. And that is what happened at the end of my story. That's how it resolves. That's how they solved the problem. She took them home and they decided not to go back to the park unless they were with the little girl. So I want you guys to work today. Think in your mind of a wonderful story. And then you can work with somebody in your family if you need some help and they can help you fill out this storytelling template. Put the characters, put the setting, put the rising action. Things are starting to go wrong. Oh no, there's a big conflict at the top, the big problem. And then the falling action is how things are starting to get better. And in the middle, your resolution. How do your characters solve their problem? And how does it end? Fill this out and save it. You'll bring it back to the bison room when we return. And we'll turn this story into the story that we'll put in your book. And you will have your very own book to take home. So use your creative thinking and think of a wonderful story and fill this out. All right, guys, I hope you have fun storytelling today.